Thank you for watching NR News. This is Nicholas Roberts. Stay tuned for our latest updates. As diplomatic pressure mounts on the Bolivarian Republic, for an approximate length of two weeks, the Calas government in Caracas has finally yielded. The 12 Guyanese fishermen that were detained on a false claim that they were fishing in Venezuela's waters are now homeward bound. Now Venezuela will allow these men to travel back home to their families on Wednesday. This was confirmed just Tuesday night by Guyana's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Huge Todd. In a meeting with the now Minister of Foreign Affairs of Venezuela, Jorge Ariasa, on Tuesday, Minister Todd was informed that the men have been released. What was also conveyed was that the 12-member fishing crew is expected to be charting their course home using the vessels with which they were detained. However, when asked about what prompted Venezuela to finally release the men, Minister Todd declined to comment, but he did promise a full statement shortly. In addition to the false claim that the men were in their waters, Venezuela also accused the crew of having amount their catch the protected species of the hammerhead shark, a fish that is prohibited from being trawled. However, the reason Venezuela made the move to release the Guyanese fishermen is quite simple. Even a country as large as Venezuela, governed by a pompous head of state whose corruption and indifference know no bounds, is not impervious to sanctions or international pressure in this age or the next. Just over a week after Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro issued a decree and laid claim to the Esequibo, Guyana received distressing reports on January 21, 2021, that a Venezuelan naval vessel seized two Guyanese fishing vessels and detained its 12-member crew. The two vessels were intercepted by Venezuelan naval vessel Comandante Hugo Chavez while operating off the coast of Whiny Point in Guyana's waters. Guyana sprang into action issuing a formal protest against the illegal act with growing support from the international community calling for the release and return of the vessels and crew. And justly so, Guyana continues to maintain that the men were arrested and detained while fishing in waters well within its exclusive economic zone, and that the borders between the two countries were settled by an 1899 arbitral award. You see, Venezuela's rejection of the award has led to Guyana seeking a judicial settlement to the matter which is currently before the International Court of Justice. However, that's a battle to be fought a little more down the road. For now, the Cooperative Republic of Guyana can be at ease knowing that the 12-member fishing crew has been released. Those who were detained were Tony Garraway, Errol Gardner, Orland Roberts, Christopher Shaw, Sherwin O'Neill, and Randy Henry from the Sea Wolf crew. Those who were detained from the Lady Nayara crew were Richard Ramnarine, Ramlakan Kamal, Nick Ragubar, Javin Boston, Michael, and Joel Joseph. Thank you for watching NR News. This is Nicholas Roberts. Stay tuned for our latest updates.